Hello, and welcome to this episode of Casual Endeavors. Currently, I'm building a rhombic dodecahedron infinity mirror, but I'm not going to do a build video for the main structure. Instead, I will be focusing on the method used to connect the LEDs as they are addressable RGB LEDs. I want to be able to add different graphics that are aware of the geometric structure. This will allow streaks of light to pass along one edge to another based on which edges are connected, even if the LEDs are not sequentially after each other. To solve this problem, we need to understand two things. The way that data is passed from LED to LED, informing each LED what color to show, and the geometry of the rhombic dodecahedron with the corresponding code. First, the data transfer. The Arduino outputs a series of commands for what color to output. The first command is grabbed by the first LED. The LED outputs this color and then passes along the remaining commands. The second LED now grabs the first command that comes to it, outputs this color, and proceeds to pass along the remaining commands. The challenge comes when we want two LED strips to start at the same physical point. If we were to join the data pins for each of the new LED strips to the same source, each of these strips would display the same thing. The data is mirrored between the two. To solve this problem, we need to pass the data through one strip and then run a wire back to the second. If we number each LED at this point, we find that the numbers are no longer sequential at these branches or nodes, and as a result, the code will need to reflect this. Second, the geometry and the resulting code. I printed off this rhombic dodecahedron to help keep track of the data flow around the structure. It has a total of 14 vertices where branching occurs. During construction, I noticed that things would be easier if I changed these runs and the paper simply shows the updates. This structure can help determine what LEDs, by number, are at each node. These numbers will be used in the software to encode the information about the geometry. All the nodes are created by joining three or four edges and their LED strips. Let's look at the three edge nodes first. A streak of light traveling from 77 to 87 will have two options once it reaches the node. Turn left and go down 88 to 98, or turn right and go from 65 to 55. To encode the information about this node, I am going to create a simple array. Starting at LED 65 and going clockwise around, we get 65, 87, 88. We have one important piece of information to add. Direction. If we start at the node and pick an LED and then head away from the node, what will be the next number? For example, if we start at 88, we need to increase the LED number by 1 to progress through the strip to get to 98, so we need to add a positive 1. In the case of both 65 and 87, as we progress down the strip away from the node, we must decrease the LED number by 1 to progress through the strip to get to 55 and 77 respectively. Now that we have this array, we can traverse through the node. In this array, 87 has an index 1, since the first index is 0. So, to turn right, we decrease the index by 1, obtaining 0, and thus going to LED 65, and to turn left we increase the index by 1 to obtain 2, and thus go to LED 88. This is the algorithm that will be used to travel through all the three edge nodes. Get the LED number index, subtract 1 to turn right, add 1 to turn left. The plus 1 and minus 1 is then used to progress down the strip. It is possible to get an index of negative 1 and 3 using this algorithm. To ensure that we always have a valid index, we simply calculate the remainder of the new index divided by 3. Note that negative 1 just means to take the last element. It is equivalent to index equals 2 in this case. The 4 edge node is very similar to the 3 edge node, only now the streak of light can go straight through. First let's create the array for this node. The process is the same, pick an LED number, 98 in this case, and then go clockwise around the node. 98, 99, 143, 142. The algorithm to progress through this node is very similar to the three edge node, but with one new addition at the end. Find the index of the LED, to turn right minus one, to turn left add one, to go straight add two. To ensure that we always have a valid index, we will keep the remainder for the new index divided by four. It is now possible to traverse the rhombic dodecahedron using these two algorithms and one array for each node. The next video will feature the completed infinity mirror along with a number of different graphics. Thank you for checking out this project.